What's up, gang? Welcome to another damn horror movie review show with your host, Eric Harrison. This week, we're going to talk about the Alien franchise. The original Alien, released in 1979 and directed by Ridley Scott, follows a cargo crew that is awakened early on their return to Earth in order to uh, investigate a mysterious signal. The company they work for orders them to investigate the signal, so they go down to a planetoid and then one of the crew gets attacked by a, an unknown creature. Next thing you know, a full-blown alien is loose on the ship, picking them off one by one. So just to start things off, here's a fun fact. This movie Alien actually came out on the very day that I was born, May 25th, 1979. So it's fate, uh, written in the stars as they say. Anyway, Alien from 1979, I, I like it a lot. It's one of those movies, it's like, you know how the first in the series is pretty much always the best? And the first one in the series is usually always the more thought out, thought-provoking, more suspense, less on gore. They usually don't show the villain or the creature or whatever it happens to be as much as when they bring them out in the sequels. So, and if you know me and you've watched my reviews, you know that's something I really like about movies is like when they don't need to just throw a lot of gore in there and they don't need to always show you the creature or the villain. Uh, you know, it's not always about the killing. They build suspense. And they really build a lot of suspense and atmosphere in this movie, Alien. Uh, the characters are all really fleshed out. They seem like real human beings. Even though it's set in a future that we don't really understand, we're not told a whole lot about the future. The characters all seem very real, like people that you would even you could poss possibly know today. So that helps a lot. Uh, the original screenplay was written by Dan O'Bannon, who has worked on a number of uh, big films. The first being Dark Star, which was a John Carpenter student film. I think it was kind of the basis for Alien, even though Dark Star was a little bit more of like a comedy, black comedy, uh, just a weird movie. Uh, I think it was kind of the basis for Alien. He wrote Return of the Living Dead, which came out in uh, 85, I think, and he made Alien vs. Predator. He's worked on a lot of movies. Uh, he passed away in 2009. In case you weren't aware, Ridley Scott, who is the director of this movie, this was his second film. He's the director of such films as like Thelma and Louise, Black Hawk Down, obviously Prometheus, Alien, Gladiator, those kind of films. So you definitely got a lot of talent going on in this movie and it really shows in every frame. I guess this movie really scared the shit out of people when it came out. You know, I think people were kind of still related science fiction to like, you know, the B-movies of the 50s and 60s about, you know, some shaky plate on a string coming down and invading Earth. But uh, this one took it seriously. They basically kind of took a slasher premise and the haunted house premise and put it on a spaceship and blended it together with a fucking insane looking alien uh, created, uh, designed by H.R. Geiger. And man, this, this alien looks freaking vicious. It's very nightmarish looking. It, I love that it's all black and it's kind of like a reptilian, but it's 
kind of like a snake or it's kind of like so many weird creepy fucking things all mixed into one and the thing is ruthless it's it's unstoppable i don't really even understand its motivations it just kills because it's like fuck you i'm gonna kill you because i'm badass like that uh, <laughs> i think it's just a reproduction thing uh is the and you know like they they either kill the human or they take them back to where the eggs are so that the eggs can inhabit the human and create a new alien. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's move on. Alien, really good movie. Uh, I think it's, I think it's really slow and it takes its time and that's what I like about it. It depends on what kind of movie you're into. If you're, if you just want action right up front, you don't really care about characters or anything. You just want to see the alien. You're probably not going to dig the original Alien from 1979. In fact, you really don't even see it that much. They leave a lot to your imagination, which I think is brilliant filmmaking. They kind of will just show you a flash, and you just kind of get a, an image of something that looks scary as shit, and then you have to just kind of fill in the rest of the details with your own mind, and that makes it even creepier, because instead of just giving it to you on screen and letting you just look at it, they're putting the freaking alien in your mind and now the alien is in there roaming around and you've got thoughts of like what it looks like and what it does. So brilliant filmmaking, I love that kind of stuff. That's my favorite. So yeah, I, I think if you're the kind of person that's into suspense and you don't mind a slow build, check it out, really good. If you just need some kind of action going on all the time, you probably won't dig it. But as for me, Original Alien from 1979, of course, it's going to get five out of five stars. F***ing ingenious.